Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing fantastic. Today we're going to be going through an abridged version of the title update 8.5 patch in Division 2. These are the confirmed changes coming tomorrow, Tuesday, April 7th. And please know that while these changes are promised, it's still a matter of testing to see if it actually works. Because I'll be honest with you, it could do the opposite and we could have some more broken items in the game. This patch is more of a quality of life, no new additions. There were some removals, but no new additions. And yes, the Revive Hive is being addressed here, and they said that they have fixed it. So there's a bug where if you level up your leak stuff in the DZ, your stuff gets contaminated, your cash gets contaminated, and if you get killed, you lose that stuff. That used to happen with the seasonal stuff, and they fixed that part. So they said that they fixed this one as well. They also fixed Striker's Gamble Talent. Uh, that is something that I never really paid attention to because I stopped using Strikers several weeks ago. Warhounds are being removed from Manning National Zoo temporarily until they're able to fix them. And I'll be honest with you guys, I think they should just remove Warhounds and some of the other tech from the enemies for the meantime till they are able to get a stable fix. Things such as the support stations for the enemies should be removed while they're at it as well because those can be problematic. But it's good to see that they're actually removing Warhounds from the zoo. They should remove it from the entire game, to be honest, until they fix it. But I didn't think Massive was capable of this, and I would like to see more of things like this. Like, you know, remove a specific enemy and bring it back once it's finally fixed. As we go on, they say that they have fixed the DARPA Labs and the Pentagon Heroics causing you to start over even if you die at the boss. There is supposed to be a checkpoint at the boss for every heroic mission. However, in these two missions, if you die at the boss, even after reaching checkpoint, you start the mission all over again. And I thought that was part of the intended uh, design for it. And now we know that it's a bug and it's good to hear that it's been fixed. They fixed the true Patriot dealing self damage. So whenever you deal a full flag effect and you kill an enemy, if you're in close proximity, you take damage as well. So they're fixing this. And this could be quite instrumental even in the DZ and other PVP activities as well. They made some nerfs and rebalancing to enemy AI, intervals of abilities, aggressiveness, some health. Some bosses are getting some armor nerf, reduction to their health, and even some of their abilities are becoming less potent than they used to be. They are reducing some of the explosive damage in the game. So mortars, grenades, they're reducing that. Poison effect is getting a reduction. EMP now affects and damages skills. Uh, I think I covered that in the previous one. But I really hope to see fire damage being addressed very soon because yes, poison is deadly, um, EMP is great, but fire is the most potent and dangerous to players in the game right now. It kills you in one shot and I would like to see something being done about that as well. Finally, they reset the leaderboards for the raid. And I think instead of banning people or rolling back things, wiping the leaderboards could have been an easy fix. Um, you know, instead of banning people, you could just roll back their stuff and not ban them, or you could ban them and not roll back their stuff, or just wipe the little board, which is something that they've done right here. And I'm hoping to see what is going to happen next. The invisible walls are still not addressed here. If you were hoping for some legacy bug fixes, um, not everything has been covered. I don't see that anywhere except for Revive Hive. But as I stated at the very beginning of this video, we will have to test some of these fixes as well to see if it is actually done what it's supposed to do or if it is worse, if we get another bug. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. As always, it's DA signing out. I'll see you guys on the next one.